I think the biggest asset of, in the Philippines is its uh, human beings, um, its talent. Uh, I think we've dropped the ball for many years. Uh, while we have the largest budget in education, I think it's 60% of our overall budget, but given a chance, uh, the Filipinos number one. And we've proven it time and again as uh, in engineering, in, in, in uh, healthcare, design, technology. So we're very optimistic. Uh, and we have the numbers. We're what, 90 million Filipinos? Can you imagine 90 million educated, well-educated Filipinos? We could tear up the world. Sir Bobby, the most popular guy in town, he very handsome by kaayo na so sambot lang. Kanang I met him. Oh my God, Sir Bobby, you made me a leader. I met him. I told myself he's a good man. I met Sir Bobby in a in sight when he was invited to be our board of trustee. I didn't expect no, for him coming from an Aboitis family to be that uh, very approachable, no, very kind and humble person. I met Mr. Bobby Aboitis in one of the f organizational meetings of the Coalition for Better Education. You know, being a founding member, I was attracted to the coalition because of the passion of uh, Mr. Bobby Aboitis. Just when I graduated from UP Diliman, I was asked by my friend, Mr. Nards Chu, who happened to work with Rafi, uh, to do a video for uh, Ramon Aboitis Foundation. And there, that's the first time that I met Bobby. I met Sir Bobby um, through the Coalition for Better Education in 2003. His passion for education led him to form the Coalition for Better Education. You can ask him for any advice and he will just smile. And He strikes me as a very modest, humble. He would not even go up the stage unless it's very necessary. He's not the one who would like upstaging people. I know Sir Bobby was a man with a vision and a passion for Philippine education. Is very much committed really to make to bring together the stakeholders in education through the Coalition for Better Education. Uh, Sir Bobby, you you would be happy, you know, that uh, really CBE has uh, through the years made uh, impact, you know, in improving the the quality of uh, of uh, public education, you know, in. Uh, for me, the greatest contribution for Mr. Bob, from you know, from Mr. Bobby towards CB is his leadership, and his passion, and his he is a role model. He's an example. Indeed, Sir Bobby was a leader with compassionate, effective, and transformational skills. It was so natural of Bobby to be very much involved in education because he believed in empowering students. Yes. The inspiration is the mover, the motivator. I think it's more of a motivator, no? Sir Bobby has a very significant influence at CCL Centrix. Um, the influence of Sir Bobby comes in through the support that he has for our programs. So the contributions of Sir Bobby cannot be measured or cannot be explained actually in terms of words, no? The greatest legacy is the tangible CBE, which has carved a niche in the area of quality education. He is really the, what, the brainchild or the founder, kumbaga the father of CBE. Perhaps without that kind of man who has this passion for education, I don't think we will have CBE at this point. We are celebrating how many years already? 16 years, would you believe it's 16 years? And yes, Sir Bobby, we are already 16 years old. TB is now 16 and echoing your words, Sir Bobby, so much still to be done. On the lighter side, your love for Harley's Davidson 
always get me going to the motorcycle department or section of the of the national bookstore just to get your favorite copies back copies of um, Harley Davidson's magazines and send them back to you so sir Bobby used to call me his idol anytime we meet anywhere we meet for functions events he would at once greet me with my idol and I would say oh my hero you know, for me, the fondest memory is that when we go together, you know, with Marian, with the other uh, team in Rafi, we go to Bantayan, and you know, Mr. Bobby is always fond of me um, eating, you know, and because normally, you know, seldom that he can see me that, and he always bring, you know, with him, you know, my favorite, my favorite wine. I think he, he, he just loved us. Bobby was really a guy who was, I, I feel he was, I could feel his humility and his care. And he, and he remembers not only me, but a lot of other people that he approaches. You don't go to him to, to shake his hand, he goes to you. To the family of Sir Bobby, let us pray for God's blessings that Sir Bobby will enter the kingdom of heaven and receive the final gift of grace. I hope the family will continue the legacy of Bobby. I would like to thank the Amudises in terms of uh, really, you're a business people, but as I said, okay, you can be a good, you can be a good business person, but with a heart. This family is consistent uh, with their with their faithfulness, with their loyalty to the Cebuano people. And I honor them for that. Especially Bobby Avoitis. Um, to Ma Marian um, and the rest of the of the family, we promise to continue Sir Bobby's legacy to us. And um, we hope that you will also continue to support us and to be with us uh, in CBE for education and for our passion for education. Losing him physically is maybe a way of, for me, you know, is a way of also looking at how much he has really done in the, for the time that he was with us. So it gives us an inspiration. If I could talk to him, I would say thank you, Mr. Aboitis, for initiating this move for improving the quality of education. The angel named Eduardo, Roberto Eduardo Aboitis Rea, will forever be with CBE, and Esther will never be a bad leader. She will always be quality leader because I will never become your idol anymore. Goodbye, my hero. <laughs>